Today we're going to talk about um, a topic that's dear to my heart. It's something I, think I find really interesting, um, and that is turbid chi. Uh, turbid chi is a um, is is a part of Taoist cultivation uh, that's very important to Taoist cultivation, and I've noticed it's not talked too much outside of Taoist circles. So today I wanted to share it with you guys. Uh, today we're going to look at what turbid chi is. Um, why it's important for our practice. And near the end of the talk, I'll even share a, a, a simple um, yet elegant method for working with uh, the turbid chi that we find in the body. So turbid chi is, uh, is a big part of Taoist uh, cultivation, working with turbid qi and learning to clean out turbid qi. In Chinese, we call it zhuo qi. And a zhuo is uh, yeah, dirty, turbid. Um, and it's the opposite of, of what, we, what we want with our cultivation, which is, uh, which is purity or clearness, um, also known as qing. So uh, in the early days of our practice, when we start off on the, on the path of Taoist cultivation, especially with internal alchemy, um, we need to clean turbid qi out of the body. If we have zhuo qi inside the body, um, it really impacts our ability to work with um, methods of internal alchemy uh, and, and turning um, activating the energy centers in the body and, and whatnot. So a lot of the early practice in terms of building foundation um, is we apply to um, clean the turbid chi out of the system. And turbid chi is basically it's just dirty energy, right? Energy we have um, that's stuck in the system. We're holding on to it. And it's stuff we, we uh, often don't want to let go of. Um, it can manifest as uh, emotional imbalances or um, stresses, fatigues, um, even sickness within the body. Um, and it's, you know, a, a nice way to think about it uh, is a metaphor of you take, take a glass of, of water. Um, and a glass of water generally is, is fairly uh, clear, right? Qing. Um, and you put some dirt in it, you mix it up. Uh, and the glass become the, the water becomes muddy, right? And when you have that muddy water, uh, that's turbid chi. That, that's a, a metaphor of what's happening in the body, right? You, it's opaque. You, you can't see. You can, you can no longer see through the, the liquid in, in the glass, um, and it greatly impedes our ability to make progress with the, the path of, of Taoist cultivation. Now, a lot of the dirt, a lot of the mud, is is stuff from the past. Um, and that can take different forms, um, energetic forms, and come from different causes, right? Uh, and so what I mean by past is past in, in this life um, and also our previous lives. Um, if you're not comfortable with the, the idea of, of reincarnation and, and whatnot, then just ignore that part. It still applies. Um, so turbid chi, uh, in the early days of our practice, we, we, we work we use different methods and techniques to clear the chi out of the system, right? Um, in, in, a, in, a, um, in an attempt to um, return to a, a more pure and clear state. So if we go back to that metaphor of, of the water and the glass, right? We've, we've got the, the, the water and the glass, you've mixed it up, it's muddy. The first thing we can do to begin clearing that out is just put the glass down and allow it to return to stillness. So stillness or jing is often seen as the first stage along the path of Taoist cultivation. Um, and jing is, a, is, a, is a, um, uh, an, essential, an essential ingredient in what we need to do uh, in terms of Taoist cultivation, right? And so the next thing beyond qing is usually is qing, and that is um, uh, purity or uh, clearness. It can be translated either way. Uh, and so we put the glass down. We allow the, allow, allow the water in the glass to stop moving, become still. The, the water in the glass, as uh, it becomes still, the sentiment in the water begins to settle, right? And you 
you start gaining some clarity within the liquid. So again, it's a metaphor for the body. So first we, we go into uh, our, our session and we work with stillness, develop stillness. The next step above that is qing or purity, clar uh, clarity, cleanness um, and purity. Uh, so that's, that's a nice metaphor that helps us, um, helps us work with zhuo uh, qi. So as I mentioned earlier, you know, like a lot of the, the zhuo qi, it comes from the past. Um, so in terms of it can come from even just in your in your day-to-day -day life. Um, we're embodied beings, we, we live in a three-dimensional world, and there are certain um, stresses that um, that we can that impede upon us that can create um, more zhuo qi or the, the turbid qi, right? So, you know, example, example I use a lot with my students is, you know, if you're driving down the street and, and someone cuts you off and you, you, feel, you feel whatever you do, anger, you know, or whatever it is, um, then that is, um, that's probably creating some turbid qi inside your system. Yeah, and it's probably something that if you go, you know, you go home and, and you, you do a, a session later on that night, you know, if it if it was really stressful, uh, um, then you'll probably find that that that's still in your system, right? That it's hard to get into the zone and hard to really focus on the work that we want to do with internal alchemy. Um, it, it gets in the way, right? And so we want to clear out that turbid qi, and, and the Taoists call it the qing lu, the the um, to purify the furnace. So the first level of Taoist alchemy, the body is the furnace. And so one of the, the method, one of the things we do, the processes that we do is we, we, we clear out the turbid chi, we purify, purify the furnace. And so stresses throughout the day, um, trauma from earlier, often in childhood, we have childhood traumas or whatnot, things that we're holding on to inside emotionally or whatnot, um, often manifest as turbid chi. Um, and then of course, um, we have uh, past life stuff, uh, and that um, manifests in our manifests itself in our system as um, what my teacher, Wang Liping, calls reincarnation energy. The it's, it's the energy um, that we carry with us from past life. And it's usually always uh, negative, you know, it's the stuff that we don't like, we don't want to feel, we don't want to deal with. Um, and so we, we uh, suppress it, lock it away, because we're not able to face it or allow it to um, to, to leave because if in order for us to process it out of our system we will need to to feel it to re-experience what that is and and you know that can be you know if, if it's really nasty stuff sometimes you don't want to do that right and so turbid chi comes from reincarnation energy it also comes from you know stresses and traumas in our in our current life um, and another word that the Taoists use to talk about working with uh, with the Turbid Qi is um, repentance training, uh, Hui Guo. And so Hui Guo, which I won't get into in this talk too much, just touch on it briefly, is just a way of completing um, stuff from our past, right? So if we have stuff in our past that's it's negative, it's nasty, um, and it's not, it, 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 it creates a pattern, a, shu, uh, a sequence that's going, that's somewhere in the sub, I guess in the West we call it the subconscious, the unconscious. I can never really differentiate those two. I know, I think there's a difference. Um, I, 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 don't, I don't know Western stuff that much. Um, but it, it, it's going on in the background. It's like if, if you have a, you know, a, computer, a computer and you know, in the background you might have some, some programs that are going, that are just eating up your, your memory, right? And you need to shut them down, break those sequences, stop those sequences from, from continuing and shut it down to clean up and free up um, more space, right? If you, um, you want to use a computer metaphor. And so um, zhuo qi, the, the turbid qi, is it's, it's dealing with all this kind of stuff. Um, and I find it really fascinating because I think it's, it's when, you, when you're able to start cleaning out the turbid qi, um, and it can take a while, right? In terms of, our, in terms of well, at least with the system that I teach, usually don't start with this stuff right away. It's a little bit later, but it, it, not too much later, right? Um, and it can, be, uh, it can be difficult, but it's, the benefits are great, 
right? Um, because what happens is we often have these, these kind of habitual um, thinking patterns that are, that are going on and that's tied up with the turbid chi that can then be creating new turbid chi, right? So if we go back to that getting cut off in traffic, right? Um, you know, if, if you have a reaction against someone cutting you off, you get angry. Um, if that's a habitual reaction um, and your mind, um, it, it's a patterned response, then if we don't stop that pattern response, we're gonna end up just creating more uh, turbid chi inside our system. And so the trick is trying to figure out how to um, break those patterns, the sequences, what the Taoists call the xu. Uh, stop them from happening, right? So we don't create more turbid chi. And it, it, takes, it takes time, it takes, it takes work, it takes practice. Um, but I thought with, with, uh, with you guys what I'd do is I would share a really uh, simple way that we can work with turbid chi and help break those patterns that are going on so that we don't create more turbid chi and that we can begin the process of, of purifying the furnace. Um, so if you have done internal alchemy, especially with, with my teacher, Wang Ping or myself, then the best way to do it is just cross-legged, go into a session, create your inner universe, go inside the inner universe. Um, and, and work with what I'm going to share. But if you're not, if you're, if you're another, if you practice something else, um, or even, even if you're not a practitioner, um, you can give this method a try. Uh, it, it's fairly simple. And it's, it's this. The next time you're upset about something, something pisses you off, <laughs> whatever it is, you read the news or whatever it is, um, notice that you're pissed off. Notice you're upset. Right? And then just ask yourself this very simple question. Where do I feel it in the body? So you don't need to think about it. You don't need to think about what it is or, or, or if it, you know, is it a valid reason to be upset or why you're upset or all that kind of stuff. Like just, just ignore all that just for a moment and just ask yourself the question, where do I feel it in my body? Right? So if we go back to getting cut off in traffic, uh, you know, if, if, if it's an anger response, um, you might feel it, maybe you feel it in the solar plexus, or maybe you feel it in the throat, you get a lump in the throat, whatever that is. Just notice it, right? You don't have to analyze it, you don't have to think about it. Actually, it's better if you don't think about it. The whole point of this is breaking those um, habitual thought patterns, right? Getting out of the head and into the body. Don't think, feel, right? And just ask yourself the question, where do I feel it in my body? And actually try to feel it in your body. Like, where is it? It's kind of a weird question, right? And for, if, if you have never practiced this sort of stuff before, it might be a little tricky. But if you've done, you know, Qigong or Neigong or Tai Chi or whatever it is, or even just yoga, um, uh, then just, you know, you're probably starting to get a sense of your body as... as um, a part of who you are, of your experience of, of being, right? By asking that question, where do I feel in the body? You just tune into that place. You can even put your hands on your body to, to help you tune into it um, and just sit with it. And just by doing that, it's a, an amazing way to break the habitual patterns. It helps us stop making new turbid chi and we might even be able to move it. It might even be able to, to process the, the turbid chi in that area of the body. Because where you feel it, there's going to be some turbid chi in there. Um, and if we can just sit with it, feel it, and, uh, and just allow, right? You don't have to think, okay, I'm going to move it. I'm going to do something with it. You don't need to, to do that. There are methods you can use. But for this, just keep it really simple and just feel it. And then just see what happens, you know? Um, and... Um, now, if you have practiced Wang Li Ping stuff or my or what I teach, um, and you're you're actually in a session doing it, uh, then you you can also, if you want, you can do some breathing with it, contraction, expansion breathing, which you'll know how to do if you've practiced this stuff with. Um, and you can even uh, learn how to move it around inside the body, or even move it into the uh, midline of the body, and then drop it down into the the lower dantian, the xia tian and breathe, breathe with it in the xia tian, contract and expand it as a way of 
burning it away. Right? That, that's how you really, that's one of the amazing ways of, uh, of purifying the furnace, Timu, right? Um, and that's a more advanced way, so you need to have all the, the different techniques and methods for that. Um, and you can try that as well if you have, if you have those techniques and methods at your disposal. And if not, then just do just just find it in your body, sit with it, let it go. And that's a it's a, it's a powerful, a simple yet powerful way of, of of working with turbid chi and clearing out turbid chi and coming back to the present. Right. So much about turbid chi is it's it's like our energy is locked into the past. Right. And so what we're trying to do is, is reclaim that energy. Right? And the more that energy we, re re we reclaim <laughs> into the present moment, the more vitalistic we'll be, the healthier we're going to be, the clearer we're going to be. And this is when we really can start to get the idea of ting, of purity, clarity, right? So your stillness is good, but we, then once we've got stillness, we want, it, we want to start purifying and cleaning. Um, and then the world becomes cleaner. There's more clarity in terms of our day-to-day -day experience, our interaction with other people, um, clarity of vision of what you want into the future, right? Uh, we, we, it's, it's a wonderful process if we can learn to um, purify that turbid chi and get it out of our system. Um, yeah, so zhuo qi, that's, uh, that's a, brief, a brief introduction, um, and I hope that's helpful. Uh, it's an interesting part of the practice, and um, it can be challenging, right? Uh, it's, it's not comfortable uh, sitting with zhuo qi, with turbid qi, um, but it's, it's an important part of the practice, and it's something that is it's very beneficial for us and the people around us um, if we can move, move it, move through it, and, and, and purify it out. Thank you.